Jess, Jess. What's up? What's up? What's up? Talk about it. Talk about it. How you doing? What are you doing up so late? It's only 10. It's light. <laughs> it's light. It's light. What's going on? Nothing. I'm trying to do some product placement, but maybe I got to stand it on something. Oh, check this cup out, though. I know. You did that quick. We ain't playing. We're not playing out here. You got your little step and repeat in the back. We're not playing out here. We're not playing out here. I got to step my game up. What's going on, though? Nothing. So tell me about okay. a straight okay. wood. Say what? Straight wood. Straight forward. <laughs> straight oh, forward. Oh, I missed the four. Oh, I like yeah. it. So, so so check it out, right? This is... um. I'm trying to build like a a underground of the underground, you know what I mean? So different walks of life, you know what I mean? Bring uh -huh. their bring their knowledge, their wisdom, their business ventures, their experiences, their up, their talent to the forefront because you know a lot of people are at home, especially in these times. Uh-huh. I'm listening. And it's just a way to express themselves and express who they are, express their opinions. Almost like a safe haven so they can really be who they are. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So that's basically what it is. And we're just going to take it from there. I like it. I'm into it. Yeah, we're going we to we do it. We're going to do it. So I, I got think it. it's... It You still there? You froze. I think it's important, especially now with everything going on, for there to be more platforms for people to really speak on how they feel. Yeah. Because you have right. your social media where you're able to write it and you're able to, you know, um, comment and stuff like that. But I think it's different because there's more passion when people actually are more expressive. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, so what that's basically it. You know what I mean? It's pretty straightforward, like it says. <laughs> but yeah, um, I want to talk to you, right? Because I've known you Talked for a long time. I was thinking about that. It's like 20 years. Yeah, I've known you a long time. So I've seen, I've seen over the years, I've seen your, 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 your little ventures that you've been involved with. Know what I mean? Okay. And basically, first of all, rest in peace to George Floyd. Yes. We're gonna to touch on that right now before we get okay. to your personal stuff. Okay. Now, tell me what is really going on in the states because I'm in London, but it's a global thing, and it's really hit over here too. They're protesting. You know I mean? People are really rising up they've had enough they're fed up and what do you what what do you think is the way forward what 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 actions need to be taken i think that the actions that need to be taken are actually in play right now hmm. you know this is i think what's making everything different is that the whites are starting to join in and are and are actually starting to speak up right I, the difference now is that they're right video in cameras and social media you know yep. What, yep. it was bad then is 10 times worse now you know what i mean yeah. um you know in in 2016 there was a study that showed that black people are more four times more likely to be stopped by police that was in 2016 it is 2020 can you just imagine how much that number increased and yeah, it's a global issue, 
but you know over there where you are is not as bad as the states no nah, not, not not at all not at all not at all but they're definitely feeling it over here yeah they've they've taken down statues that represent slavery they're really acting over here too like and on a big scale it's gonna happen and you know don't let up yeah don't let they have not stopped out here on long island it's the biggest protest i've seen I think that the reason why it went on so long, one, because people are tired. Two, they knew that this was going to be the only way um, for change to happen. And three, there was the pandemic. Right. So people right. have time to protest. Yeah. They're not pressured to go back to work. There's, if, if they had to take this act for this type of speech to be spoken, yeah. God works in mysterious ways in mysterious ways, you know? Mm hmm mm hmm Did they do a Black Lives Matter sign yet over there? What in what as far as what in the streets? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's big over here. Yeah. It's massive. It's massive. Google it. What? <laughs> I gotta Google it. I haven't yeah, seen it massive. posted yet. No. They've 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 risen they've risen, and they've had That's, enough. It, it's sad, man. I was just watching a video before I got on. This little girl was walking in the park with her mother, and a patrol car, you know, pulled up, and she put her hands up and started screaming. She couldn't have been no more than nine years old. Wow! Like that is just the. It's sad. Yeah. The, it was it was a woman. She got out and she started crying. She's like, you know, we're not all bad. That speaks volumes. Yeah. That, that speaks that, volumes. That's 2020 that we're living in. <laughs> but um, so what you think the, is the way forward? What, does, what do you think the government needs to do? What actions they think that you need taken before real change comes about? I think that the change is for black men to stop being targeted. Mm -hmm. I think that right now, currently, a third of the prison population are black men. Yeah. In this country, a third are black men. So the change is obviously what everyone's fighting for is the freaking equal rights. Mm -hmm. A white man and a black man could commit the same crime go before the same judge can have the same exact rap sheet and the white man's doing two years and the black man's doing 26 years. That has to change. Yeah. It Definitely. has to be a fair game. Definitely. It's what do you think about the police? The way they handle minorities? You know, it was such a sensitive subject for me talking about the police. And this was years ago, um, a friend of mine. I don't know if you remember the story on the third precinct with Kenny Lazo. Vaguely. Sounds familiar. Where, police custody. I think that was the first um, popular incident on Long Island. Mm. And the girl, you know, I know the mother of his son, um, she was out there protesting and stuff. And I would feel bad because part of me, I wanted to go out there and protest with her. But the other half of me was like, well, I have so many cop friends that I don't want to feel like I'm going against them, you know, because like, how do you, what do you do? So I just stay silent because I just didn't know how to play the both sides. What would you have done in that, in that what, predicament? In what predicament? If you was a police officer, right, all this is going on, would you... Like you just explained about your friend. She wanted to remain neutral, right? No, I wanted to remain neutral. Oh, you wanted to remain I had to her cops, and then she was out there protesting against the cops for police brutality. Oh, okay, okay. So out there protesting with her, but I felt like if I did that, I would be betraying my cop friends. Right, you know, right. I didn't know how to do both so I just remained neutral and didn't say anything at all, gotcha. which I should have expressed then. But now through social media, everyone's teaching you because you can learn things through social media that only because you're pro-police doesn't mean you can't be pro-black.
Yeah. You're, yeah. you know, you're entitled to your opinion. So I, I think that for so many years, there's the uh, code of blue, what, you know, yep. the, and yep. a lot of people aren't living by that, but right now, a lot of police. Are the integrity. Yes. That's important. So I think that is starting to change also. Mm -hmm. The police need to police the police. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what about another question? Does peaceful protest work as opposed to violent protesting and vandalism and damaging property and attacks? What do you, I because, um, I felt in the past, I don't condone violence, right? Agreed. But I felt in the past, um, peaceful protest wasn't being heard. You know what I mean? Because it, they were too passive and they were blow over in a week or two. Right. But as I'm seeing now, everything that's going on, they're removing statues. You know what I mean? That represented slavery from years ago, hundreds of years ago. As and, they should. Yeah. And so what do you think? Is 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 the peaceful working or is the violence working? Um, I agree with you. I do not condone violence. I don't yeah. condone looting. I don't see the point of the looting. But again, um, I don't know if you guys seen it out there in London, but out here there was a lot of people who came from other states just to start and, you know, ignite the fire on the looting and stuff like that. Peace, yeah. Peaceful protesting most definitely works. Most definitely works because peace, peaceful protesting gave an opportunity for people to speak to the police and ask the police, kneel with us, bow down with us, and they did. So a lot of people can, when you, when people scream and yell, yeah. It's a lot of talking, but they're still not saying anything. Right. You understand? So right. in order to be heard, you have to be assertive. You have to, because the moment someone screams, it's defense mode, and you're not even going to know what you're arguing about. Yep. So That's true. I think with the peaceful protesting that has been happening around the world is why the Black Lives Matter has been being painted everywhere. Right. You know? Right. Um, you 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 don't get anywhere in violence. Not not in a protest. Not in life. Arguing. You know. I try. I really don't argue anymore because when I get there, I get there. But it's just you. I want to be heard because when I speak, I have something to say, and I want you. I want to get my message clear. Right. And I want you. True indeed. True indeed. Now, um, racism is alive and kicking, as we can see. It's back at its peak, right? Yeah. What do you think is. influenced that? Is it Trump? Is the it, world. Did he open that can of worms? Most definitely. You know, the other day, I live in a predominantly white neighborhood. I don't know if you see my post. If someone left a fake, it's like they printed it out, a fake mm -hmm. dollar bill. And Trump's face was on it. Wow. Yes. Um, wow. You know, I was angry. You know, I, I went into... Where did they leave it? On the lawn. Really? Was they it, was it um, intentional? Or is it just there? No, it was most, most definitely intentional. I live... Oh, wow. I live on my lot is a corner lot. Is a corner house. Mm. Again, there ain't too many black people around here. We're probably one of three. Okay. And, and you can't, everyone knows we live here, you know? Right, right. Um, it was most definitely intentional. You know, my fiance was trying to figure out, asking those same questions. Well, do you think it blew over or da -da -da? No, it's, it was taped, it was paper, but it was taped so it wouldn't get wet because it was raining. You know, it, it's so, like, I took it, I received it as we're here, you know, like his soldiers. He most definitely ignited it because to me, it's like he almost gave a green light. 
Yeah. And those quiet races are like the leader of the free world is open about it. Why not? You know, why can't we be open about it? Yeah. I mean, did you see what he's doing on Juneteenth? What's he doing? Uh, I think he, he's holding a rally somewhere on Juneteenth. I, I don't know. It's just straight disrespectful. Like, what, what's, I, I the saw Juneteenth, other... what's the Juneteenth thing all about? Juneteenth. I'm going to Google it because I want to get the message across very educational. Which was supposed to be my second wedding date, by the way. When? June? 19th. What's Juneteenth? <laughs> Juneteenth is um, when slavery kind of ended. The oh, yeah. Right. African. Yeah. Oh, that lady. So he's being very disrespectful. Yes. 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 Wow. The leader of the free world. Wow. If you saw, um, there was a peaceful protest in D.C. Peaceful. The cops weren't even like, and he sent out the army. He sent out the military first. Right. And, and right before he came out, he started tear gassing everyone. Because mm. he had to go do a photo op in front of a church. But before that, he said a speech. Did you hear the speech? I am your president of law and order. Meaning I am your commander and I do as I please, however I see fit. And I don't care who gets hurt in, you know, in the midst of it. That is the message he's sending. How is that not? Mm. But you do know he's a puppet, right? To who? Trump. He's a puppet. Who puppeting him? You do, you do know he's the face of the higher that they want things to happen. Everything that's happening right now. Hey, Jessica. You know what I mean? So he's acting on hey. behalf of them. Who? The elite, the how, the highest, the highest, the one percent, mm. whatever you want to call them. Mm. No, I mean, all presidents come in that, under that. They're, they're, they're the puppets. You understand? Is that why you think Obama Gate happened? Absolutely. I think. Because it's got to be Obama, our. He yeah, still Ob has. Uh, Obama meant well, but he was in a distraction. Get it? That's just my opinion. Yeah, he meant good. well, but that was a distraction. Yeah. If they didn't want him to to do certain things and be the face of certain things, they wouldn't let him in power. Just like Al Gore, right? I don't want to get too political. I'm just stating a real fact. Al Gore, remember he was running for presidency um, before 9-11? Okay. You remember Bush's brother was the governor of Florida? Yes. They rigged, and all Al Gore needed was Florida's votes to, to win. Oh, right. And then the brother They rigged those votes. Yeah, they rigged those votes. Because they, the, they had an agenda to complete. Yeah, no, most definitely. You know what I mean? So. This, this shit is scary, man. Very. Very. It, very. Like, out, fight, fight, fight. And the other part is like, just keep your head down to try to survive. Mm, that's it. But um, what was your reaction on that twenty dollar bill? My reaction to the twenty dollar bill was like the white was like we rule, like we're here, like that's how you this took is, it. This is you're in our. This is our territory. Mm. Yeah. It's like they came into my territory to send a message that I, you know, you know what I mean? Mm. And there's two houses in the neighborhood who are very vocal Trump. They have like a big banner, you know, and there's one, 
a house not you know like a block away so maybe it was um i don't know i don't want to start assuming but let me tell you i go you know what it it, it was a mind fuck it was really a mind fuck because I love my neighborhood. It's quiet. You know, my son goes out and rides his bike. I don't have to worry about him. And I go on like my two mile walk and stuff with the baby. But like the next day I went on a walk and I was just like on straight pit bull mood. You, you know, like I saw a girl pushing her baby. And I'm like, if I turn around and smile at her and she doesn't recip you know, reciprocate it, I may fucking choke her. You know, like, that's how I was. It's like, now who's saying hi to me because they feel like they have to send a message like, no, we love black people. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. it fuck you. And mm -hmm. I just, you know, my fiance, he see me walking up the block. He's like, what the hell happened? Like, you have like, you fought somebody. I said, that's how I feel. Like, I'm pissed. Mm -hmm. I'm wow. pissed. You know? It's like, Dang. who's walking by? house and just staring you down like you know niggas motherfuckers get out the neighborhood wow that's the energy yeah. around there for me at least uh, that's for me i feel it's just very tense hmm. it's just very tense you walk into the supermarket you walk into the target you it, it, it's very tense for me right now Especially living in Nassau County, where you have a lot of, you know, I'm surrounded by Massapequa, I'm in Wontaw, then you have Levittown, you know, so it's yeah. a lot of people. Wow. Speechless. Speechless. It, 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 2020. It, it's be, you know, and I have, you know, the boys, my oldest, you know, Brendan. Yeah. Yes, that's, that's my mom. That's my mom. <laughs> oh. Yes, I'm having a rally in Tulsa where there was a horrific attack on African Americans on the actual day slavery ended. That's what he's doing. Oh. That's what he's doing. But, um, you know, Brendan's half Chinese. And obviously, he's like, his complexion's like white. But he has real ethnic curly hair. Like, he has curly curlier than mine you know and yeah. he always went to a white school so for him it's like he kind of just fit in with them but i've always reminded him like you know you're black mm. like you're you're dominican meaning you're black and you're trying mm. but you go to a white school yeah. i told him really especially in high school i i stressed to him because, you know, he's a star basketball player, so all the little girls are wa going to want to be chasing after him. I said, don't you ever, you know, um, stay alone with a girl if you're at a party or whatever the case may be, unless she's a close friend or whatever. But if yeah. you don't like her, she can easily turn around and say, oh, he did something to me. Even if it's an assumption, yeah. your career and everything will be over. You are a black boy in that school. Yep. That's you know what I mean? I have to remind him. Definitely. And Some challenging times right now. Challenging times. But, um, it, it's beyond me. It's, 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 I don't even know what to say anymore. I just, obviously, we can't sit back and watch. But as I watch everything unfold, it's, it's you don't know what's around the corner. You know what I mean? So I don't even know what to say no more. But we're not gonna stay. We're not gonna sit back and watch or be quiet. No. You can't. You that's, can't. That's, that's, yeah, that's and so I, important. I don't think anyone should. You know, um, silence is complicity. Another thing I'm de I'm I'm inner battling. Um, I haven't even told Dan this. For my white friends, I have a lot of very close white friends. How should I feel if they don't post anything? Or, you know, we can't let, we can't in allow. Defense, in your defense. Like in, yeah. the, in the, the minority's defense is what you're saying, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. Um, some have reached out to me privately, you know. But that's and hidden. I, and I appreciate that. 
but then I look and you didn't post anything publicly. Yeah, and it's hidden, it's hidden. So I'm okay to be your black friend with us, you know, yeah. behind doors. So I'm struggling with that. I'm struggling with that big time. Uh, this for me has hit very, very hard. I have been glued to the news for the last two, three weeks, you know, and I kind of have to shut it off because it is consuming me. You know, it, it depresses you. You want to do something. You want to yell. You want to scream. But mm -hmm. um, that's something I'm personally dealing with right now. So how do you think I should handle that? Uh, wow. I think, all right, we all know the news fuels negative emotions, right? Yes. Okay, so that's a good, that's the first place to start. If you know it fuels negative emotions, stop watching it so regularly. Right. You know what I mean? If you got to watch it just to see the headlines, to know what's going on in your environment, mm -hmm. but that's what stops. Because if you watch it all day, for weeks, months at a time, it's just going to control your mindset. Yeah. That's why I don't watch the news. I hardly watch the news. I watch the headlines, so I know what's going on. Other than that, I don't watch the news. I don't read newspapers, none of that. Because yeah. it's, it's designed to make us feel right. a negative way. Right. And fear. You don't want True. fear. Fear will just destroy your life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's the first place to start. Stop watching the news. Watch more positive things. You know what I mean? Whatever. What's your other interests? No, which I do. Hello, risewithmarilyn.com. <laughs> is all fun. Yeah, there you go. Is there all you go. things, you know, but I'm human. And in order for us to speak out and, and be up to date and have an opinion and influence us and make us look, you know, uh, put us on a positive light, mm. we kind of have to know what's going on to play defense. See, that's not true what they're saying about us. Where have you, you know what I mean? Exactly. exactly. Um, and most of it, if, if they should name the news bad news, because they don't feed good news. There's okay. a lot of good news in the world. I've been ripping News 12 out here. Mm. What what are you what do you guys do but play ripping them? It's fear mongering and scare mongering. Yeah. There's 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 more good news than bad news. You know what I mean? And we the only good news outweighs the bad news, but they focus on the bad news because it's a control mind control thing. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Jessica, Rise with Marilyn is my blog. Yeah, we're about to get to that, Jess. <laughs> we're about to get to that. So yeah, as we move on. Yes, um, no more topics. Yeah, forget all that. To the good stuff. To the good stuff. But once again, rest in peace to George Floyd and all the fallen within police custody and brutality. Yes. Shout out to them. Yes. But now, on to the good stuff. Yes. Um, tell us a bit about yourself and what you're involved in, what's your future endeavors and you know what what what's your um what's the destination you want what's your ideal destination throughout all these journeys i'm gonna answer the destination question first yeah um i'm gonna answer the destination question first because that is something I struggled with many years ago. Trying to get to the destination, trying to get to the destination, trying to get to the destination, mm. but you're not enjoying the journey. Right. So yes, there's a goal, but I stopped worrying about the destination and started being more present, started not to race with time. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Can Makes I get an sense. amen? <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense. Yes. So as you followed my journey for, I think about almost 10 years now, 
right? Did radio. Yeah, yeah. yeah about that. Yeah. I went down to Atlanta. I was like on there. Start from the beginning. Start from the beginning when you embarked on your, you know, what did you start with? What radio. Was it again? Radio. Radio. Okay. It's online radio. I kind of fell into it. Um, mm -hmm. The girl I was hanging with at the time, she was very into the industry and stuff like that. And I kind of just tagged along. And the host of the show at the time, which is Pretty Lou, I don't know if you heard of Pretty Lou. Yeah, I know Pretty Lou. So Pretty Lou put the mic in front of me. That's how I started. And we were out at the Dumbo section in Brooklyn one night a week. So I was on his radio show for a little while. And then um, I couldn't do the back and forth. So that show ended because Lou went out to do other things. I think he ended up on Power on 105.1. Mm -hmm. So then I started my own online podcast and stuff. And it was great. You know, I right. did my own producing, my own contents. I got the studio. I got the artist. You know, so it was great. It was very exciting for me because right. I you know what I'm saying? And yeah. what did was, the podcast focus on? Or was it just everything? The podcast, anytime I do interviews, I don't like, you know, like I feel like um, they're always in your personal business. Mm -hmm. The podcast was more like this what you're doing now. Why right. did you where you are? How did that come about? What was the green light for you? You know, who helped you? Who's, you know, more like that, like getting to know the yeah. person as opposed yeah. to who's sleeping with who. You know, we did a lot of unsigned artists. Right. We gave them an opportunity. We had a lot of unsigned artists come on and a lot of which are, blew up today. We had artists, creative artists, painters and stuff. Mm. You name it, I had it on. Okay. Uh, so what made, you, what, 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 what made you stop that? I moved to Atlanta. Oh, okay. I had a podcast here, and then I moved to Atlanta. Oh, okay. And then I, I was living in Atlanta. I ended up on their Hot 97. Gotcha. But Atlanta. Yeah. But, you know, at that time in my life, I was still trying to figure it out. As, as we do? As we all do. And I've done this, I've done that, but I've had t good time. In, you know in the process yeah. during the journey and I think that's just important not, not everyone has it figured out you know I just turned 36 mm. and, and and it's just now for me starting to click right it's starting to click for me now. I'm in a place where I'm sure of who I am not that I wasn't before but I was just trying to figure it out does this work does it click you know and I think for people you shouldn't be afraid to just try it out Sometimes you have this mind, you want to do this, you want to do that, and somebody tells you, no, just focus on one thing. Why? Mm. Me, personally, I have a lot going on right now. Wow. And I'm enjoying each part, you know, of my business and all of this, and whichever clicks, whatever works for me more, then that's what I'm going to stick with, you know? That's it. That's it. So That's the way it should be. <laughs> you know? Because you'll never... If you're stuck on one thing and you're not venturing off, you'll never know well, you're what you're good at. Exactly. Exactly. And I don't like to feel unproductive. That's right. That we we right. good and bad. Because <laughs> I'm always <laughs> but. Who's in there? Jessica. What's up, Kimo? Kells. Um <laughs> so from Ronnie, what was Jim, it? your mom. Yeah, that's my mom. Mm -hmm. So from, from Atlanta, what was your next journey from the podcast? So I left the radio station. I left the radio station in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And again, I started another podcast in Atlanta. Okay. I, I like to do my own thing. Right. I like to be in control of my thing because I know how I want my name to be represented because that's all we have, right? When we all leave this world, all you have at the end of the day is your name. Right, right. 
We're getting there, Mom. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. So, that was the podcast. From yeah. the podcast, everybody knows what a podcast is, right? <laughs> I believe so. <laughs> so from the podcast, what was the next venture? From the podcast in Atlanta. Then I left Atlanta. I came back to New York. Right. I came back to New York, and I was going to start a huge business venture, but then I got into a car accident three weeks later. Right. So then that kind of muted me, lack mm -hmm. of a word, for almost three years. Wow. Then last year... Is that the one where you had the shoulder injury? Yeah, my neck. Mm -hmm, my neck and my shoulder. Yeah. So then I got pregnant last year. Right. Then I was on bed rest. And then at the end of last year is when I started feeling like myself again. I was rehabbing still. I had the baby. And I was ready to hit the ground running. Got you. So at the end of November, a little voice came into my head to do candles. I've never thought about it. I've never dreamt about it. It was never. It was just a little voice. I started doing my research. Did my late and I, I sold out in the first week. I made over two thousand dollars in the first week selling my candles. Wow. Mom, I do. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I started my blog, which I've always had a blog throughout the years, but this one was really my baby because it took a few months to do. Because the blog, I feel. There isn't enough platforms spreading the positive news. Got you. All I wanted to share. They the say what types of candles are they? Um, aromatherapy. And I have one fragrance candle. Oh, aromatherapy is all is essential oil and all natural stuff. Essential meaning no chemicals, no products. Right. Um, the name of my candles are Breathe, Exhale, Enjoy, and Relax. Mm. Because those are the four things that we have to do in order to stay present. Right. 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 <laughs> right. So the candles. So um, how did, okay, so you said a voice went off in your head. Yeah, to do the candles. Okay, what was the journey to get it into physical form? Oof, child. Trial and error. A lot of trial and error. A lot of wax all over my kitchen floor. <laughs> it's just getting the right wick, you know, the stuff that burns, the messing around with the set, scents and stuff. Mm. It took me about two weeks. And okay. then I started giving away a little, say, hey, you know, test it out. Let me know what you think. And then all my closest friends is like, man, you got a hit here. Like, mm. keep it going. And right. I enjoyed doing it. It was a gratifying feeling for me, knowing that something I made from beginning to end and gave it to some. you know what I mean? It, it, was, it was very fulfilling. Best very candles fulfilling. ever. Amazing quality. Oh, thank you. Yes, she's... <laughs> Let me see the candle. Put it up for the screen. Let me see the um one of them. This is one of them. And then I have a higher end one. I don't have it up here. Let me see the name. Let me see the design. Okay, so the design... Can you see it? Rise Sense, yeah. So the design is a lotus. So okay. if you see it on the blog, um, yeah. risewithmarilyn.com is also a lotus but in a different form, because we all know lotus is a plant that grows from the mud. Yeah, right, right, right. So my, I'm always trying to find, I think it's very important for us to try to continue to grow and find things that help us do that with positive, you know, affirmations and all that stuff. So through right. all the relations, you still have to rise up. Guaranteed. So that's where rise <laughs> Rise Sense, Rise so what's, Up. What's, what's the name? What's the, um, do you have a website for the candles? RiseSense.com. RiseSense.com. 
Yeah, type it. Yeah, type it. One moment, please. Okay, got it? Yeah. Risesense.com. Yep. Now, Rise with Marilyn. What's that about? Give us some details on that. Rise with Marilyn. Like I said before, I had different blogs, but this was very, um, very close to me because I'm a little more candid about myself. Right. Can you pin it? I don't know how to do that. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, keep talking. Um, I'm very candid about it in that I share my personal experience experiences. Yeah. I like to think that sometimes people are going through things and they don't want to talk about it with other people or they feel like they're alone and no one else is going through it. Yeah. So I try to put a lot of my own experiences and how I handle it. For instance, you know, I'm engaged, but I have two older kids. Right. How do you bring in a new man to a relationship with your children? You know, stuff like that or. Yeah. But. I mean. Oh, yeah. They shouldn't feel no way about that. No, it's no, it, no, it's no way. But I talk about how when you date a man, you have to be conscious of your kids. Mm -hmm. Because there are women out there, believe it or not, that don't care how their kids feel. You know, yeah. when you package deal, you have to abide by that and understand that you're a package deal. Right. And then it's like how the position that he's going to play in their life because you're not looking for a father because they have. Right. But, you know, it's go on risewithmarilyn.com. You'll see what I'm <laughs> Free post, My blended family. <laughs> and that post, a lot of people reached out to me. And they said, man, you put things in perspective, how to handle it, you know. Yeah. Wait, uh, it, it's tough. It's tough. Absolutely. What are you looking at? I'm going to, I'm going to, Pin all of them. One sec. Oh. Yeah, so risewithmarilyn.com Yes, I want you to know that you're not alone during anything that you may be going through. I may speak about it. I also invite people if they want me to talk about a topic. Yeah. Rise with Marilyn. Is it rise yeah. with or with? Hold on, I'll write it and you'll pin it. Yeah. You got it? Okay. Yep. Yeah, so sp speak on um, Rise with Marilyn. So it's ba basically a blog. A personal blog personal okay how do you do that pin thing you just hold it down tap it and it will come up well you i think oh. the host has to do it but oh. if you do it you go live now we're gonna get to your other venture your most recent right yes <laughs> the name rise horizon Okay, so rise. Type it. Then I'm going to pin it. The website's still under construction. But that is completely Sorry. different. Yeah, we're going to get into that now. I think this rise is Rise Horizon. Okay. Can you only, maybe you could only pin one at a time. Nah, I'm um, LC.com. Oh, there you go. So those are your three websites, right? Yes. Rise Horizon LLC is still under construction. That okay. company 
that company is, um, you know, the trucking business is a lot of money in it. Oh, I know. So that's more my fiance is lead on that and more of a support. It's a joint thing we're doing together. Um, right. We're starting off as dispatching, but more so as consultants. Okay. So just to give you the breakdown, like when people first get their trucks, they don't know what to do. What's next? Some of them may not know what else to do. They need the insurance. They need the authority. You know, so we want to come in and help you consult your business so you can reach your weekly goal. All right. Instead of just chasing the highest paying load, you get it? The highest rate. Yeah. So going up north to go down south to Florida where you're not probably going to get anything out of there if you're not in season. Right. You know what I mean? So that's what Rise Horizon LLC that's, is. That, that's on the up and coming. Yeah, because with COVID, everything kind of rates went down. People, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So with the candles, you're able to do online you're able to do what drop-offs deliveries how does that work no more drop-offs um everything gets shipped right from my house everything's done from my kitchen okay I inventory i burn my own wax i print my own labels. i am my own functioning <laughs> the goal the destination for that is to be in bloomingdale's to be in you know, Nostra, Nostrum. That that's yeah. the des that's the destination. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So you're gonna need you're gonna need a warehouse. Eventually, yeah. Yeah. I was selling I, out. I, so. That's great. That's people great. Want, they don't want no candles. Buy some candles. <laughs> <laughs> Ridesense.com. It's steady though, so I'm very grateful. Mm. All right, how do you find um, with with everything you have going on, the candles, your personal blogging, because it's very time consuming, right? So how do you find juggling that with motherhood, your relationship, and everything else you got that you have to deal with? um one step at a time i if you're looking for a system i don't have one i i okay. wake up at in the morning but there's no it's schedule a, there's no i try to but there's no schedule it's like what needs to get done today and at whatever time of the day like every minute of my day is accounted for every minute right. through right. covid and quarantine, regardless because if it's not making a candle, it's like trying to think of content for the blog or it's freaking cleaning or it's the dog or it's the baby or it's the other two kids and then it's the laundry. So there's no schedule. It's every morning is like, okay, what do I have to do today? Oh, I have to get an order out. Oh, I have to go. So I manage it, you know? It's like I said before, I don't like feeling unproductive. I like to constantly feel like I'm doing something. Um, do I overwork myself sometimes? Maybe. And then I allow myself to say I break down and then I get up and I do it, you know? Start again. And I start again. Because at the end of the day, I don't know what the destination is. Mm. So I just know the right now. The right now, it works for me. The right now, I'm happy doing it. It, it brings me joy. And who knows where my blog is going to go. Maybe some will will pick up one of my stories. Right. You know what I mean? Right. As far as my candles, I, that's something that brings me joy. I love when people say they love my candles. That's something that I did, you know, that I crafted. Mm. So wherever what? that journey is going to take me, you know? Yeah. What scents, candles do you have? Uh, pomegranate lilies is the breathe. Mm. Um, I have an exhale is a green tea. Mm. Um, my relax, which is the biggest hit. It's a lavender, a rose hip, and a jasmine. All in one. 
all in one. So that's the that's the most common. That's the most favorite. The most favorite. Everyone loves lavender, okay. and the, I have the enjoys a cucumber melon. Mm. So, do you ship domestically? I mean, just domestically or internationally? <laughs> I got international rates are looking like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's good. That's good. That's good. So is it what? You just, are you right now shipping just New York State? Or is it? No, 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 no. Um, domestically in the U.S. So all the states too, right? Mm -hmm. My candles already went to Jersey. They went to Florida. They went to Georgia. Oh, good, good, good. They're moving. That's good. Great. That's what I want to hear. Yes, sir. That's what I want to hear. So yeah, um, so shout your websites out again. Risewithmarilyn.com. Right. Risesense.com. Yep. And risehorizonllc.com. So you have candles, personal blog, trucking, dispatch. Yes, sir. Woman of all, 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 <laughs> all, all departments. <laughs> And I'm a mommy. That's the number one. Yeah, mommy. Number one Con congratulations too. Thank you. So what's going on with the wedding? When when is the date? Because of the pandemic, it was set back. Man, our first date was April third. Then we went in there. We're like, you know, we went there a week before everything got shut down. Cause mm. that, let's just be proactive. You know. Then we went to June nineteenth. Wow. That still wasn't. So now we're all the way till next August. Wow. And thank you, Jessica. 2021, August 13th. So God praying, things settled. Okay. My sister's wedding got pushed back too because of the pandemic. Oh yeah, because it was around the same time. It was in May. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pandemic so came and, 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 and toppled everything. So now I get to interview you. <laughs> this is what I do. This is what you do? Yes. <laughs> oh, I may have another business venture. I have a meeting on Monday in the city, so. Yeah. May have to have me back on. Oh, so we're going to come back. We're going to come back for that one. Yeah, that one, that one may be big. We're going to come back for that one, definitely. Definitely. But, um... Coach J came in at the end. <laughs> yeah, <babe. laughs> um, okay, so what made you want to do straightforward? Straightforward? First, the initial idea was um, just speaking on, like to grab every walks of life to speak on everything in general, whether it be relationships. But it was going to be controversial. But what was it that gave you the idea? What made you in your heart say, this is what I want to do? Um, I like, I like, see, I'm a humble person, right? So by nature, I want to see everybody shine, right? I want to see everybody succeed. Even if I'm not where I want to be, I want to see everyone succeed, right? So I thought about making a platform for the very underground because you got underground, you got overground, this yeah. is the, the underground. So it's bringing people that want to just talk about anything, get stuff off their chest with opinions, facts, whatever you want to bring to the table, we discuss it. Sort of like a therapy yeah. slash fun slash promotion, you know what I mean? So it just came to my head one day and that's where the name Straightforward came from. It's just, we're being straightforward about everything. No, you know, sugar coating, no, none of that. Just being real about whatever. And that's where the name came from. And I just said, let me just 
start something. I got to start somewhere. Do Let, something. Let me tell you that that line right there is that that should be a tagline. Mm. That should be your tagline. Start somewhere. Yeah. Definitely. Because so many people are so scared on the destination. Can they reach it? Can they do it? That they don't even start. Exactly. Start. Start. Yeah. I started shit may not always land. It may not always work out. But you just have fun and you figure it out. But you have to start. And we're all guilty because we got so many ideas. But you don't just make that move. And it don't even have to be a big move. That's what people are scared of. Nope. You start tiny and you build on it. Yep. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm starting tiny. That's why I put up a post the other day promoting this. And I said, don't follow when it gets big. You know what I mean? Don't try yep. to come on here and want to promote your stuff when it gets big. Because now you have to start now. Now you're going to have to start the rate say it again because now they're gonna have to pay the sponsoring rate the sponsor that's right. yeah that's right so you know and that's what that's why i like messing with people that are humble and not a show off and just you know i like I'm, i like dealing with them because you can tell how they're gonna be when they do get big right you know what i mean so I need to thank you it only brings out who you really are. Exactly. Exactly. Because I know, I, I know for a fact. The first person. Huh? I feel so, I'm, I feel so flattered that I'm the first person. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're going to come back. We're going to come back. On a new venture. We got more stuff. We got more stuff oh. coming on. So, I do want to subject real quick before we end. Yeah. Because I met your live on Shawnee's birthday. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. It was um, good. It was good. No, I, I watched I watched it. It was good. I'm yeah. like, I wish I would have, you know, got on. But yeah. when I asked you, uh, take your time, take your time. Take your time, man. Take your time. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Okay. When I asked you why you wanted to do it, mm. and you said because you're a very humble person and you want everyone to win. Right. I instantly felt Sean. Because mm. he was the same exact way. That's it. That's it. It's the only he, way. He was I the don't same. Know all the way. And he um, didn't know all the way. Huh? I said, I don't know no other way. And he didn't know no other way. He did not know any other way. And, you know, seeing his progress throughout the years, I was like, you know, like a proud auntie. Mm -hmm. you know? Every time we see him, he would just be very respectful. Mm -hmm very humble, very loving. And I would just sit back in awe because here's this kid who barely said three words when he was little. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now he has the biggest voice that impacts so many people. Yep. And what he has left in me was the mindset to take the first step, what do you have to lose? Because he just didn't—he just didn't care. Not that he didn't care, but he just lived his life. Mm. Uh, Twenty seconds remaining. Okay. All right. Thank you. What? Um, We're gonna sorry. come back. We're gonna come back. back to that to go sideways, but. Nah, it's cool. Start... It's cool. I appreciate that. Thanks for coming um, on. Yes. And um. I'll talk to you yeah. soon. All right.